the reactor or the combustion chamber and probably you're wondering why don't we have a combustion chamber directly well that's the point of knowing how to simulate processes many times in real life something can be modeled with another thing so for instance this is modeling a pipe it's transporting a material from left to right instead of actually using this pipe we are modeling it why because right now we don't care about the size of the pipe velocity profile uh, if there is friction loss and so on so it depends a lot of what do you want to model so for instance this distillation column doesn't even ask you for what type of trays how many tray tray spacing uh, and so on so there are plenty of things regarding on what is your interest so right now our interest is to essentially just model this process for material energy balances compositions purities and dude and heat duties also the electric charges requirements and here we go so the combustion chamber or I'm going to be using a reactor because I know combustion chambers are essentially burn something that burns and right now I have several opportunities so because I don't know the kinetics of this reactor I can use I cannot use any of these three I know the stoichiometry well yes I know that this is 100% combustion do I know the equilibrium conditions no so technically I can use this one right here and the Gibbs free energy actually it will be kind of interesting to use the R Gibbs energy but right now let's stick with the simple one this is the most common one you will be starting to use so this one goes here you need to add air and see how this feed is required and not you're not obliged to add it because this is an external or an additional you can you can have as many as you want and this happens in real life you have several uh inlets let's say a and b you can do it that's no problem and i'd like to have these in order to see that these are my raw materials combustion chamber and this is another important part right here i have this product or this water decant for free water or dirty water what the hell is that make no worries right now we're not going to use it but essentially is when you want to have a water stream from the let's say out of the organic material so this product let's call it stack and let's click next just for the sake of knowing what do we need to fill up and as you can see here guys we need to have heat duty of zero why are not we allowed to add a temperature because we don't know about the reactions we don't know what is the temperature and we are most likely not going to cool down or heat up this reactor in real life actually what we want to do is to take advantage of the heat this is done at 10 bar or zero pressure drop so you can select whatever you want 10 bar let's do the zero pressure drop for you to check this simulation and the reactions are now the most interesting part right here so let's check out the results of this stream and let's check out the mole fractions okay so we got plenty of methane some ethane and propane some traces of butane cyclexane toluene so actually we have everything the most correct thing to do will be to to add all these reactions so component one will be methane with oxygen produces oh no we have something missing and yes i did this on purpose i want you to go back and see how can we add further data to our component list so we know co2 of course we want to see that and water let's run this part right here remember that whenever we add a component we need to run the physical property environment in order to get the binary parameters which i did already and now we can go to the simulation environment and fully define our reactions so we were talking about methane one two 
and goes for CO2 and water. This is two, no, well, one and two. Fractional conversion, full conversion of methane. Next. And actually, let's check out all this individually because I don't remember that uh, that much the components. So let's methane, oxygen, CO2, and water. And I know this can be a pain in the ass in whenever you're modeling, especially imagine if you have a crude oil and you will have infinity. We will see later on further courses how to model those type of reactions. Instead of we adding individual reactions, there are models that will simply uh, verify the best equilibrium condition and minimize Gibbs free energy and obtain the result. It's one, seven, one seven four six four six full conversion of a thing and i love it if you make any mistake on the balance you will get it so pain oxygen co2 water one five three one five three Now we'll take 213, 213. Ten is two, thirteen, eight, and ten. Eight and ten. One and ten. We're almost done, guys. Be patient. Cyclic scene. One six three six. One six three six. Of cyclic same. Let's see. Oops. Almost done. Two fifteen twelve. Two fifteen twelve. Six. Of no benzene. Okay, to win CO two and water. One, nine, seven, and four. Based on to win. Next. Okay, guys, so one thing I wanted to show you is that actually reaction two and five are not fully defined. And let's see what happens when that is the case. And we shall find a material balance error because of the reactions not being balanced. So let's verify actually for all. So there is a warning on stream name air. I don't know why there's a warning, so let's check it out. Component moles are normalized in order to get the total mole flow. So that's a very common practice in Aspen Plus. Actually, this warning should not even be a warning, but is whenever you're adding a decimals and decimals that are either truncated or uh, let's say rounded up or down, you will get either a 0 0.99999 or you will get a 1.00001. What Aspen does is essentially uh, normalize that number into one. So all the fractions will be divided by the fraction and you will get a beautiful sum of one. The same is true for defeat. That's fine. And we have an error. Those errors are actually very important. Errors means that the simulation failed, while warnings mean that you just got to be attentive to that. So let's check it out. 
error in the combustion chamber. And yes, as stated before, guys, the reaction number two and reaction number five have some errors. So let's go and fix it by ourselves. So we got this part right here, C2H. Okay, so we have two carbons. This is the first error. We have okay, two, four carbons, four carbons, 12 hydrogens, 12 hydrogens, 14 oxygens, eight plus six is 40. So let's change that. That should be two. And that's what I, I actually don't like that much of Aspen Plus in this specific case. I would really love just to add this part right here and Aspen automatically doing the material balances. And if not, at least I will really love that Aspen Plus will tell me that the material balance is not okay. Now let's check for this one is okay. Six carbons, six carbons. So first things first, yes, 12. 12 hydrogen, 12 hydrogen, that's fine. And we got 12 oxygen, no, 6, 6 plus 12, 18. So this got to be 9. 9 right here. Hopefully we are all set up. Let's run the simulation and see how it goes. There should be no errors and no warnings. And as stated, we do not seem to have that. Okay, so still we have those warnings that I was telling you about, but now we're fully defined and we are done. Essentially, that's what I wanted to show you. We are done with the process simulation. And now let's continue with the results. So I'll see you in the following lecture.